The challenge is to join all the dots using four straight lines without taking a pen off the paper or retracing a line. Most people, when tackling this problem, tend to stay within the apparent square. But there is no square. We impose it ourselves. Once we go outside the limits of the square, we can solve it. In fact, you can do it with three lines, or even with just one, like this, or this, or like this, all this, or even this. We are at the Radically Better Conference here in Atlanta in April uh, 2010, and just kind of getting people's uh, reactions, uh, what's going on uh, with you know, how they're feeling about the conference, and I got uh, Jeff Bukowski with me. So what stuck out with you there? So did I pronounce your name right? You did. You <laughs> All right. The best I've ever heard. <laughs> Nobody down here can get it right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just love um, what uh, Paul was talking about with um, the cross covering Oh, man. And I think most of my Christian life, I would read that. And I would understand that. But it was and I remember I got into a church setting where they would say, well, you don't understand, you know. All those of you know, things, the people who get saved, for the people who choose to receive it. And in my mind, I kept thinking, no, that can't be right. Well, I would say all that. If it meant a few or just a certain chosen group of people. And I would come to learn that that was a certain theology that was taught in a grid that people had thought about. And that grid was based on their perception of God. And um, that would be radical for me to come to understanding that we do read the Bible the way we perceive the Father. And if we perceive Him as loving and open arms, always wanting us to come in and fellowship with Him, we see the Bible quite differently than we do a guy who's ready to snap us or whatever sin we come in and die. And uh, man, this has been a great weekend. I recommend this type of thing to anybody. Just the, the whole uh, the thing that stuck out to me this weekend was the whole the the, the completeness, the finished of everything that the finished work of Christ did. Every you know the, the far reachingness of it. We, we put God in a box. We put the whole what the whole cross was was all about in a box, and it's so much bigger so much far-reaching than what we could ever imagine and that's the, the gist of what I got out of this weekend and so I recommend it to everybody and
learning about who the true Melchizedek was is very enlightening. Okay, here we are at the Radically Better Conference, and if you guys want to introduce yourself and kind of give your thoughts of, of the conference so far. I'm Frank Peterson. This is my wife, Lori Peterson. So far, we've really enjoyed the conference, learning about getting a deeper understanding of God's love and grace and how much He truly loves us and everyone around us. What, what do you think the best thing is? Understanding how God loves everyone just gives you a totally different approach to how presenting His love to other people. It's just an awesome thing. Right. Total paradigm shift Total. in our minds. You know, God is love. That's who He is. His essence is love. So, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm excited to see the next three or four sessions. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. funny story about a preacher that came to speak in a church in England, and um, <laughs> he arrived very late. Uh, so, Hello, I'm going to knock you out of the I know that's a big answer. Anyway, that's the point. I'm John Fincher, this is my wife Donna, we're from McDonough. This is our second year at the Grace Rock Conference last year. It was uh, very enjoyable. We got to meet people that we've been talking to on Facebook and through our blogs. And uh, this year was a, a lot sweeter because we developed these relationships over the year and uh, actually got new friends too. So we got to meet some of those this year. The conference has been really good. It's been uh, some very challenging things that we've learned and some things that I'm going to have to process in the future. Uh, that's some really deep, meaty stuff like Steve was saying at the very beginning. And uh, just, I've really enjoyed it and looking forward to the next two sessions. And I enjoy seeing the people that we get to see once a year. And um, I also just enjoy the things that they talk about and all of a sudden something slaps me in the face, something I've never thought about before. And it also generates really interesting conversations between the two of us also. And, um, and I look forward to the rest of the sessions in the afternoon. It just moves it from the objective realm into the subjective realm. I'm Matthew Campbell. This is my second uh, conference with Steve McVeigh and Paul Anderson. Um, last year, uh, when I came, I expected just the basics of the Grace Walk to be uh, laid out for me again, but I was really surprised at the depth of uh, truth that uh, Steve McVeigh and Paul Anderson watch. Uh, continually, they continually uh, expound more and more. Deep, they go deeper and deeper than what I could actually imagine. Um, it's, it's been incredible. Every year, um, the second year I think is even better than the last year. Um, really enjoyed it. And he can leave out who received tithes, paid tithes, where he was the Lord of his father when Melchizedek met him. Now it was perfection. If perfection was through the Levitical priesthood, from the base. Um, I'm Stephanie Serks. 